has given me this. Yeah, we don't have much wax. Hi everyone. Say hi Emmanuel. <laughs> so I'm on my way to Togome to um, talk to the chiefs about the land for the school. So even though I'd already asked Chief Daniel to like, you know, sort it out, look into it for me, because obviously he's there. So he said, next time I come, come and like greet the chiefs and I'll just show appreciation for um, their help with everything. So I had to bring some um, schnapps. So that is what we're doing today. So I'll message you guys when I get there, okay? I love you, bye. I realized that I need some sort of cloth or something because this sweating is just insane. Like a, like a rag or something. All right, let's let's roll. Thanks, Emmanuel. <laughs> Thanks for thinking of me. <coughs> I want to live on this mountain somehow, like, and I will. I don't know. I will. I want to live on the top of this mountain like I'm obsessed with this mountain I love it it's just so amazing to me look at it like there's like oops, <laughs> there are these rocks right and they're rocks like how did they get there like who put them there nobody else but God take the high ground you know just in case the world goes crazy it's already kind of going crazy already. We're almost to our destination. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my shirt. So I'm actually working on getting these shirts made so you guys can buy them. And the proceeds will also go toward helping nations and building the school that we're building. I'm really excited. I'm so excited, like just to change the world. One village at a time. So lots of good things will come of a school being in the area. Um, you know what? List all the benefits of having a school in an area. List all the benefits. And if you guys even have some creative ideas, tell me about them in the comments section below, okay? And we can chat about more cool ways to help develop the area and stuff like that. Okay? Alright, bye. We're home. Wow, is it is it hot in our in, in in Volta region? Yeah, welcome. Yeah, welcome. Wizzo. Hello, Mama Maggie. Wizzo. How are you? Wizzo. Wizzo? Uh, Wizzo. What's that mean? You're welcome. Oh, Wizzo, really? Oh, what you making? Fish. Ooh, what kind of fish is this? What's the name of this one? This one is called gearbox. What? The head is strong. The, 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 oh, the, you know what? It's strong? It's strong. The head. What does the it mean? Jaw, the jaw is very mm. hard. The so bone is hard. No, no, not the bone, but the jaw. Really? The head size. We call it gearbox. Gearbox. <laughs> Wait, that did is... you just say gear gearbox? Yes, gearbox. Oh my gosh. So this fish, fresh fish from the Volta. Now to smoke mm. it. So you, you don't talk this one? Not really. I don't know it, but does it taste like fish? Oh yes, it's fish. I don't like to, I don't like the fish that tastes too 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 fishy. What is tilapia you want? Yeah, like tilapia doesn't taste so strong, right? Like tilapia. Very you know catfish? Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. This one is similar to catfish. Oh, so it's it's white? It's similar to. No, but when it's finished, it will be white? Yes. Oh, it's white. Yeah, yeah, white. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we're here. It's hot in the Volta region. Is it hot in the Volta yeah, region? This is, this is Volta region. <laughs> but is it hot? I think it's more hot than Accra. Is it hot? It's hot. It's so hot. It's hot, man. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, guys, we're going to um, call you guys back, okay? Bye. <laughs> so, Chief Daniel guys. has given me this. Give me cutlass. 
to walk to weed my place but i am already tired <laughs> <laughs> i can't manage yes. it's a sheep daniel oh god sheep daniel so i have to be a, like a real farmer yeah oh my gosh <laughs> all right i think i'll be okay okay so we're here and so he's opening the um coconut that Chief Daniel got for me. What? I hope you said you should save one for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> this one is not grown. What does that mean? It's not, it's not fully grown. It's, it's matured. Oh, it's so what? There's no water or it's just water? There's, just There's no food. Oh, okay then. I'm here at the river, right? So I was just talking to my guys. So I was just asking them, how do you feel about a trade school? Would you go? Would you go to yeah. Are you just saying you're going to go because I'm talking to you? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> talking about trade itself, it's a very nice idea because here we don't have much rights. And big guys like this, as you see, mm -hmm. we don't have uh, works that we do. So we just, do you know? little we, we get, like, I know already. It doesn't help us achieve what we want to do. Building a trade school here will help us improve. Right. How old are you? 24. Oh, okay. Did you have plans that you would save up to go to school? Or? No, my completed SHS was in 2018. 2018. Right, right. But in terms of money and other issues, I couldn't continue to invest. Oh, okay then. What did you want to do? What would you like to do? I want to be a graphic designer. Wow, graphic designer. Yeah. I've been trying my hands on some different designs, but I'm so not how too do you in it. how do you do it now? Like on your phone? Yeah, on my mobile phone. Oh, that's so cool. Okay then. So that would be cool to be able to learn the way you want to learn in a school. Yeah. So for now, what do you do to, to earn money? Um, we've been using this. There's a certain machine in the rubber bank that we should draw the sand from there. Oh, the sand. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay. So are you married? No. Why did you say no? <laughs> I said no because I'm not. Okay, okay. <laughs> so when are you gonna get married? Oh, maybe you and I we have money to okay. get home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to support the family. Yeah. I get you. Okay, so um, that's a great idea. I never really thought about things like graphic designing and computer works. So maybe that's something we'll figure out how to incorporate, you know what I mean? Yeah. I love it, I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh, I love that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you live here in Dogome? Yeah. Yeah. Have you lived here always? Yeah, I've been living here for about the past 15 years. Oh, so where were you living before? I was living in Ashman. Oh, okay, Ashaman. Okay, I see. Well, I completed my GHS. That was in 2013. Mm. Mm. I see. Okay, then. All right, guys. So, definitely support. Click the link in the bio to donate, of course, because for such an amazing cause, especially for people, you know, further out who might not be able to afford to go to Accra or any place, right? To go to school, right? Okay, bye. Our group, um, Helping Nations. I'm coming today to ask if it will be all right to build a school in the Gome and I'm seeking your approval and your permission today. So I've brought to you some get as well. I brought to you as permission two gin and some yeah. some um, soft drinks. Soft drinks today. So I hope I hope it's acceptable and I hope you are fine.
Okay, thanks very much. Uh, we, on behalf of Togoma Traditional Council, Togoma uh, Gidi, the manga of Togoma Traditional Area, welcomes you very much to Togoma. Thank you very we much. We are very happy to receive you among us. And the Traditional Council, as said, is ready to release land for your accommodation and a land, at least about five acres for uh, your school project. So we are very happy to be among us and also to establish a school for our children. So we welcome you to talk about it and there is hope that that land will be released to you for your project. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And thank you too. Wow, that was intense. <laughs> so um, we're finished with the chiefs. They have granted me my wishes. Right, Chief Daniel? Yeah. The chiefs have said yes. Yes, they have accepted. They have accepted my request, right? Yeah. So, part one complete. Exciting. What does this mean? Is it lunch time? No. Yes. Home time. Is we should get that. Oh, done. Ah, okay. Mi poku. What's that? Mi poku. Mi poku. Okay, what does it mean? Mi poku means come together. Come together. So that's a drum language. Oh, nice. Okay, I get it. Wow. It should come together fast. Oh, okay. Mm. That's what he's saying. <laughs> In the olden wow. days, drum language is what is used to transmit information. That's so whatever cool. you are, if you are hearing the drum being beaten, yeah. you have to stay calm and listen to what the drum, the drum is saying. Say. So you act accordingly. Wow. Uh, in I those something. days, yes, in those days, when the whites don't know much about the yeah. drum language, it's secret this is what code. the Africans use For code. to come together. Yeah. To welcome them. Yes. Thanks. Okay, okay. I so we may put them in. Okay. You know her? Yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. she's our mother who was here some months ago. She has been doing a lot for us in the town. Especially with the students. With the students, uh, for that matter, the school body. Through her effort, we have had the computers. She donated the computers we are using at the lab right now through her effort. She has done something for the our health passport, the health personnel. At the clinic, they put up a modern toilet facility for them. And they have been bringing more things to them too. Today she's here with us and she wants to say hi. Okay? Mama. Okay, hi everyone! Hi! <laughs> Who Remembers me. The, no one knows me. Oh, you have. Uh, who said that? <laughs> you remember me? Oh, hi. So you're you're still here. So where did everybody else go? 
Where did it go? You did it? Wait a minute. Where did he go? Where, why is he hiding? He didn't graduate? <laughs> well, I wanted to say hello to you guys. Study hard, you know, do your work in school. Also, don't forget to have fun and be kind to each other and all that good stuff, okay, you guys? All right, I'll see you on my next visit, okay? All right, next time I'll bring, I'll bring something. I don't know what I'll bring, but I'll bring something. How about some food? Do you like food? Oh, wow. All right, I'll bring something. Okay, say bye, guys. Agbalo, Agbalo. Oh, that's so nice. So I guess some of them aren't from the last time. Only like one kid remembered me, but I don't think they're all the same kids from before. That's why. So it was cool. Got to meet. Another set of children who hadn't seen me before. So that's cool. All right, Chief. This one is clear. Yeah, dumb. Mm -hmm. So I just, I brought Chief a, um, what's this? Croissant, a chocolate croissant. Yeah. Do you like it? It's America, American food. I love it, yes. No, not American, I guess French? I yeah. Know. Oh, it's yeah. sweet. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. Next time I'll bring you a burger. Yeah. Have you had a burger? Yeah. You had a burger already? No, don't have. You have to bring it. And, and what about pizza? No. <laughs> no. All right, I'll bring it next time. Thank you. All right, Chief Daniel. So I'm going to leave now. So I'll see you next time soon, okay? Yeah. All right, bye. Bye. See us? We're home now. Thank you so much, Emmanuel. Welcome. All right. You can come to the school when we build it. Okay. Sure. <laughs> you can be a teacher. Sure. <laughs> All right, you guys. This is the end of the vlog. So we'll see you guys next time. Okay, love you. Bye. <laughs> mm -hmm.